without you, my friend. Tell you all about it when I see you again. All right, so listen, let's break this down. Take off. Death was a tragedy. Okay, we all lose loved ones, and every time it happens, it's this thing. Every time, and it's sad. <clears throat> and so you got Quavo wanting to pay a tribute at the Grammys. This place that's holding everybody's attention undividedly in the arena on television. Okay, satanic rituals going on as a performance. You got the Lord's Supper being mocked. God is being mocked right to your face. You don't see how the enemy setting this whole thing up, mocking God, right in all of the Christians' faces, right? And then we're going to call, oh, let's get Maverick City on board. Let's call Kirk and all them. Let's get them to come up here and co-sign all that. So when Quavo's singing his song, talking about, I'm going to see you in heaven, my dog. I'm going to see you in heaven. I'm going to see you in heaven. And then you got Chandler Moore just coming out of the dark, saying, singing another old worldly song, talking about, oh, I'm going to see you again. when I eh, Really? Really? That's the message that we want to portray to the world. We're not trying to tell them that there's freedom on the other side of the Jesus, but we need to repent, right? We need to repent. We need to confess the name of Jesus beginning in our heart and turn our lives to him and surrender to him. Repent, turn from our wicked ways. Did Takeoff do that? I don't know. I don't even follow these people, but the Bible says that you will know them by their fruits and now the abundance of the heart speaks out of the mouth. So you tell me. If these two people are going to see each other in heaven, they might see each other somewhere else, but they probably ain't going to have a chance to speak on all that. It's like you can see the play from the enemy setting up. You had an opportunity to tell the whole world about your Jesus and tell them that they need to repent. But you don't love the people. You don't love God. You don't love God and his people. You'd rather worship yourself and the golden calves that they give you up on the stage. Because if you really love the people, you would tell them that they need to repent and turn from their ways so that maybe they can see him on the other side. But no, instead, what the world saw, all this mockery of God, and then they see, oh, that, that one little Christian band, and then, oh, Kirk Franklin, I remember him from my younger days. Yeah, let's all send them there. And they, and they watch them. They watch them put a stamp on that and co-sign the whole thing. And this is why the world thinks it's okay to act the way they act and everybody's going to heaven. I'm signing off, man.